Let's see how to automate multiple supply invoices in NetSuite using robotics process automation. While a lot of companies across the globe rely on enterprise resource planning systems these days, sometimes the power of these ERP systems need to be boosted with technologies like robotics process automation. Now, let's look at a flowchart explaining this entire process. Here's how you can automate multiple supply invoices in NetSuite using RPA. Here's how it's done. First, the system logs into your email. After that, it reads all the unread messages in your inbox. After this, it downloads the attachments from the email which have the subject as supplier invoice. It'll then log into NetSuite to read and extract transaction number and total amount from the attachments. Then it switches back to NetSuite and opens the invoice with the transaction number that it previously extracted. After this, it will match the total amount. If the total amount matches, it will process the invoice and send a confirmation email. However, if the total amount does not match, it will send an email stating that the invoice has been mismatched. This entire loop continues till all the attachments from the email are read. First, let's go to our mailbox. Here you can see that there are five supplier invoices along with their attachments. Now, from this attachment, the software will extract the transaction number which will be used to find the invoice in NetSuite. Along with that, it will also extract the total paid amount which will be matched with the total amount in NetSuite. All you have to do now is click on Run File. The software executes the code by logging into NetSuite automatically. UiPath and NetSuite, when integrated, can run completely unattended and have your invoice processed within a few minutes. The invoice has matched. The bot searches the invoice via the transaction number and also matches the total amount of the invoice showing this message box. The message boxes that you see have only been enabled for this demo. While running this otherwise, these will not pop up. Here we see that it gives a message saying that the invoice amount has not matched. After this, the software will send an email stating that the invoice is not paid and it will go back to reading the next attachment. Now that the execution is completed, let's go check the email. Here we see that we have received two emails, each for successful and unsuccessful matches. These emails have details of invoices that were successfully paid or not. And in the attachment, you can find the details of these invoices. So let's open the document. Here we can see the attachment contains the purchase order number, the transaction number, and the status of the payment. Now, let's go back to our inbox and see the email for the unsuccessful invoices. It shows the PO number for the invoice which had a failed payment. Now, let's have a look at why the payment was not successful. For that, I'm going to open the attachment for this particular PO. Let's copy the transaction number and then go back to NetSuite and search the invoice with transaction number.
Here we can see the total amount in NetSuite differs from the amount in the attachment. Here it's 5,970 and in the invoice the amount is 6,000. Now we have read all emails and have successfully automated the task of matching invoices. Thanks for watching.